In this episode, I'm simply rewarding my puppy for putting some pressure against a collar that I have my hand on. As soon as he puts any pressure into the collar and he's looking at the manners minder, I'm hitting the remote control and releasing him toward it. That's it. But you can notice that my puppy keeps turning away from me with his rear end and I'd much prefer that he be parallel and he actually seems to do this a little bit more when he's on my left than on my right. That's just because he wants to circle around in front of me because he gets a lot of treats there. However, I can put the manners minder against a barrier or a wall to encourage him to stay parallel and that's what I've done here. This is actually a really difficult barrier because it's the railing at the edge of the loft in my house so there's about a 25 foot drop just on the other side of that barrier. So understandably, my puppy might be a little bit reluctant to be sandwiched in between me and this barrier. But after a couple of tries, we're back on track, and you can see now he's actually parallel to me. And also, if you watch his left rear in this little video clip, if you can see it, he's actually also trying to lift his rear leg and touch the railing, because that's a trick that I've taught him. Now I'm gonna switch sides and make sure that I'm squishing him against the barrier on the other side, and again, I'm just releasing him when he's putting some pressure into his collar. This is just a fun way to build drive for the manners minder. It's a fun activity. He's getting his breakfast this way, and he's also associating the manners minder with me grabbing his collar so that he'll be less likely to shy away from me if I need to grab his collar for fun or for some sort of emergency. You can also see on the lower left hand, Jesse's really excited and he wishes that he could be playing with the manners minder too. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Stay tuned for the next episode, hand targeting. <laughs>